Conjured up by that anonymous letter, tormented him. With great reluctance, he gave into the impulse to run home and see for himself. Though he felt it too insulting to his beloved life companion, a gnawing suspicion had taken hold of his tortured mind. His hesitant and uncertain steps led him along the fateful steps to his own home, where all seemed normal, tranquil, and peaceful. What if he's already inside those snakes? Good heavens! Where is she going? And why does she have a suitcase? The 943 train! The gun. Curse them! To the station! I could catch them with suitcases at the station. That could count as catching them in the act. It has to count! It has to! Oh, God. Oh, man. Overtaken by a natural impulse for revenge, he ran like a madman toward the station. Faster and faster. On and on! To kill, perhaps. But perhaps also in desperate hope of catching his unfaithful spouse and stopping her from leaving. Who knows? But when I saw them together, her and her lover, but... Angela! Rosalina! It seems... Don't act so surprised, Seppe. You know our marriage would never go anywhere. Now you know why. What? The reason? What? What? What, what about Carmel? You idiots. You might as well know. <laughs> don't, don't be absurd, Rosalina. Angela and I are in love. Are you cheating on me? Angela? I thought what we had was special! Were you using me to get to my wife? Were you using me to get to my husband? Well, this gun was supposed to be for you, Rosalina, but what do you say? Just like it used to be? Just like the good old days. Bang! All vengeance has dissipated now that the lover is gone. Decided to move to Tuscany to rekindle our love. Ciao, Vitili, Capitini.